Hey guys, it's Misty Lovely. Misty Lovely is not having a good day today. Um, and I'll talk to you guys about that in just a moment. Um, but for those of you who have to go, I'll get into the numbers really fast. Um, so this week I had a gain, I had a two pound gain. And I know exactly why I allowed myself to indulge over the holidays. And you know what? The average person has a 10 pound gain over the holidays. And that's not to justify my gain. That's just the facts. Um, a two pound gain from last week. Because last week I was 308.8. This week I'm 310.8. And I was expecting an big, even bigger gain to be honest with you guys. Because uh, Misty Lovely really indulged. I made a sugar free chocolate cake. And I also made some peach cobbler. And I had a piece of both of those. Another piece of the cake. And... Uh, but I'm glad that I took that cake and I left it at the resort. I threw it away. I was like, you know what? You're going to be a problem. We're going to be a problem. So you're going to have to stay here. Goodbye. Same thing with anything else. I thought that I would have the same problem with. Uh, we did, however, bring the food home because we had so much left older, left older, older, left over because I don't eat very much. Uh, and everybody else was full off of sweets. Uh, so yeah, two pounds, not bad. And, um, for me, I've been under a lot of stress, especially on today. Um, so my body holds on more. And then Aunt Flo is visiting. Um, so, you know, it is what it is. I'm not tripping because it'll be gone next week. Um, like I was telling my sister um, and another one of my friends recently, because she was asking me, what's the secret? A lot of people have been asking me what's the secret since I had lost 70 pounds, which now is 68 pounds. I said, there's no secret. Just follow the rules. Do what you're supposed to do and um, own whatever happens along your journey. If you have a gain, own it. If you have a time where you decide you're going to put something in your mouth, don't put it in your mouth because of a particular thing of stress. If you want it, eat it because you want it, not because of an emotion. There's a difference in eating your emotions and just wanting something. I've gotten to a point where I just want something because I found that if I ate when I ate because when I was eating my feelings, I found that I stopped and I got depressed and I just stopped on my journey and just sabotaged myself. Now I eat because I just want it. <laughs> and whatever the consequence, whether good or bad, I accept it and I move on. So two pound gain, I live and I'll see it off next week. Um, as for on today, I find myself being faced currently with, I, I had a very uh, abusive past and um, my sister as well, she had a, an abusive past and I'm finding that I'm being faced with the same things that people had to once deal with from me and that's how I'll put it and being very vague I know. But that's without going into a lot of detail. And um, to say the least, it's, it's been very, very draining and very hard and, and, and very much stressful on my band uh, uh, to the point where I was in, I was in tears today a lot. Um, it's a hard pill to swallow when you're doing all you can um, and you find yourself hurt you know, on the, on the other end of the spectrum, the person who's giving you all, you find yourself hurt. You know, it may not make sense to everybody, but it don't make sense to somebody when I say this. I find it funny that as some, some people tend to treat the very person that loves on them the worst. It's like we, we go after those who, who reject us, but we treat the people who treat us well like crap because we're not immune to being treated well. And, you know, it's, um, it's like some people are immune to abuse. I know that sounds crazy out of this world, but I'm just being real with you guys. It's not a, something you blatantly say, but it's a subconscious thing. And some people just really need help. And, you know, I've dealt with my issues from my uh, mental abuse. I've never been, yeah, yeah, mentally and physical abuse I got from my father. But anyway, um, so today has been a rough one for me. I've been under a lot of stress and I felt my band tightening. But I, you know, all this is a part of life and this journey. Um, and I'll just continue to tackle. 
Um, with that said, let me get into some quickly, quickly into some NSVs, and I'll leave you guys alone and let you guys go. Um, for the first time in, you see this? For the first time in 13 years, they're jacked up now. They're starting to peel. <laughs> but I polished my nails and my feet in the first time in 13, 14 years, I think it's been. Probably 15. I could actually reach my feet to polish them. Now, for those of you who have been extremely heavy like myself, you guys know my highest weight was 378.8 to now 310.8 for a total loss of 68 pounds. You guys know that's a big, big deal. Um, man, I'm still reeling over all the small things that occur. Um, so I wanted to come on and share that, what I, which I shared with you guys, so I can know for myself where I was week 25. Um, the Christmas week, I chose to do what I did, and it is what it is, but um, today was a hard day. But um, tomorrow will be new. So anyway, uh, I love you guys. I hope all of you are doing well. I hope you all enjoyed the Christmas season. To all my biggest losers, just a couple more weeks, guys. I know it's you guys have been hanging tough. You know, we started out with 14, and we got three of you guys left. And um, I, I commend you. I commend you. I commend you girls highly. Um, so anyway, uh, I love, 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 love you guys again. And I'll talk to you all later. Bye.